Hey there! I uh, was talking to uh, Joost from Applebaum Pennen and uh, I said um, Visconti Medici the large model, the oversized model he said Boom! I said Apple Boom! Yeah, I'll stop now. So here we have the pen that was lent to me, the very attractive Visconti Medici Oversize. I think it's a very nice pen and I'll give you a sneak preview. It writes flawlessly. So this is going to be interesting. I will show you the past the pen, I will do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Let's get started. This Conti Medici comes in a rather large box. That is the outer sleeve taken off. Here we have the box. And then we have in the box this tiny little international warranty harmonica that does things. And then we have the little pen bed. And the little pen bed, in this case, doesn't come out. We also have the pen, aka the pen, which I shall put here and then I shall grab for your convenience a Lamy Safari. Okay, now what makes this pen so interesting? Um, of course the Medici is uh, named after um, the famous Pizza Medici, which is a type of pizza which you can only get in Florence. <clears throat> Not everything I tell you it's 100% true. Of course, there was the Medici's. Yes, I know. It was a family. Yes, I know. I know. I know. I was just cracking a bad joke. Okay, so uh, the, the pen available in at least two sizes. This is the oversized, so it's a little bigger. You can see it's a little longer than a Safari is, and um, uh, that's pretty much all there's to it. So let's let's look at the parts of this pen. On top, you have this little finial with the Visconti logo. Um, which uh, is, is, is quite nice. You can pull that off and you can put in the MyPen uh, system. So whatever you can buy, little gemstones, your initials, which are magnetic and they, they, they pop on there once you have that finial off. Then we have the cap. Uh, there are eight facets to the cap um, as well as to the barrel. And um, here we have the, the clip. Mole after the Ponte Vecchio. Unfortunately no longer filled in an enamel. This is now laser engraved. I'll come back to that. And we have a center band. This is all rose gold detailing. Uh, it says Medici and uh, it has the fleur de lis on there, which is a nice touch. Then we have the barrel, again, eight facets, and we have the piston turning knob. Um, this is a power filler, so that means you can unscrew this, pull it out, holds a nice amount of ink. It's a vacuum uh, filling system, which, which is quite nice. I really want to point out that I love this material. This is a very, very nice um, acrylic uh, that had not been used before. Now, the one thing that I uh, would like to point out at this point is that the um, I, I read in the official description of the pen, uh, I quote, the Medici is shaped like a diamond with 36 facets within the cap and barrel. Okay, um, 36, huh? So I see eight facets on the cap, I see eight facets on the barrel. In my mind that makes 16 facets. But let's, let's add the eight facets uh, of the, um, uh, the, the, the turning knob. Uh, now I'm at uh, 24 facets. I do not know what happened to the final eight facets. Are we supposed to take this rounded off bit of the cap as, as eight facets and that's the 32 or what? I, I, I cannot in this case, do the math, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, that's as things are. Barrel tapers down slightly. Uh, the clip, lovely and springy, according to Visconti, indestructible. 
and then there's the bayonet closure that is also used on the Homo sapiens and for the record this pen is the same size as the Homo sapiens maxi or the aka Homo sapiens oversize. Section, same material as the barrel and cap, I think that's a very nice touch, I always love that. We have the uh, discontinued uh, palladium nib, so I don't know if you purchase this pen now if you would always get a palladium nib. Once that runs out you may end up with a gold nib because Visconti has gone back to gold. This is 23 karat uh, palladium as the, the palladium nibs are. It says that, it says Florence, it has the Visconti fleur de lis on it uh, which, which I've always enjoyed, at least fleur de lis type thing. There is the plastic feed, number 6 nib, and as I said, power filled, so I, I cannot unscrew the section, that would destroy the pen. Uh, 775 euros is what this costs, that is with VAT, without VAT it would be 640 euros and 50 cents. So let's see, and here is going to be our big surprise, it writes, I know. Visconti Medici oversize uh, with the 23k palladium uh, um, this was the medium I want to say yes I remembered correctly and the ink is Waterman blue that's right Rose gold trim uh, on the nib too. A little hard to tell if it's rose gold or yellow gold, but I think it is rose gold. Oh, that was way too low. Let's start that again. It writes. It writes, okay? I am uh, very happy. Nice and wet. Line variation. Be careful. The palladium nibs, it's tempting to use them as flex nibs. They are not flex nibs. Um, they are very nice and they have a little bit of springiness to them. Whoops, finally the reverse writing. Very nice, still pretty smooth, turns the medium into a good fine. How shocking, a very, very, very pleasant writer. There's nothing else I can say about it. It's, uh, I was prepared for the worst, and it was great. I love it, it writes really pleasantly. So let's see what I like about this pen and what I don't like about this pen. Okay, so. What do I like, what do I dislike about the Medici? Well, I think there's quite a couple of things to really like about this pen. The material is very attractive. That is a very, very nice acrylic that I really like looking at. It's very pretty. It's a larger pen, which I like. Uh, if you want to, you can post it and you have a very nicely sized pen, quite big. Now, I do really like that. Um, when you post it, you can actually turn the piston turning knob, but it doesn't matter because it's a power filler, so unless you really pull the whole thing off, you won't spill any ink, unlike with a piston filler, so that is really nice. Uh, the biggest thing for me is that the nib writes beautifully, and that is superb. With Visconti, sometimes they write well, sometimes they don't. I have one here that writes absolutely beautifully, exactly the way you would want it to be, and that I think is really, really great. Things that I don't like so much. 
I think Visconti has cheapened the clips a bit when they stopped doing the enamel and started to do the laser engraving. If you've seen the older style pens, you know what I'm talking about. The enamel looked really classy, really nice. Now you have a laser engraving. Yeah, it's the way it is, so nothing we can do about it, but I kind of wish they still had that enamel because it looked really cool and it also, in my mind, elevated that clip a lot. I mean, there are many, many laser engraved clips, but there was only one really enamel inlaid clip on the mass market in my mind. So there is that. Um, then there is the fact that there is no center band around the cap, and given that this is acrylic, which kind of pops on and off with that uh, bayonet closure, and given that this is not super thick material, I would always be a little nervous that this will crack at some point, and that, that would be an issue. Now, you can send it into Visconti, they will fix it, I know they do, but I wonder if a center back would not be a smart idea here. Final thing I, uh, I, uh, I wanted to, to point out, and that's this is a little bit of nitpicking, but I think that in a pen that costs 775 euros with that, 640 and 50 cents without that, um, you could expect a little more, and that is that the, it's hard to show this, but the turning knob facets and the barrel facets don't line up perfectly when you really tighten it. So what you can do is leave it very slightly untightened, and then everything lines up. I don't think you get a particularly noticeable gap there, but of course then it's not fully tightened, so it may move a bit. Is that nitpicking, Brown? Yes, that's nitpicking, but again, this is a pen that's 775 euros, so now I kind of expect all the details to be perfect. Right, and uh, it's nice that they have this this bayonet closure for these pens because that means the facets of the cap and the barrel should line up. But then also make sure that the turning knob lines up. I think it's just nice. I'm not talking about material continuing uh, between the barrel and the turning knob because that is actually quite hard to accomplish. But making the facets line up, I think, would be pretty sweet. Right. So there you have it. Don't forget that if you buy this through Applebaum, you would get a 10% discount. Click the banner on my website. And if you're overseas, you wouldn't have to pay the 21% VAT and you get a 10% discount. And then this may become quite an attractive little pin. So, I hope this was useful. A very kind thank you as always to Yoast for lending me this pen. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.